Barik um, is an operation that is been um, in Zambia as an active operation. Uh, it's been running for more than 15 years now. Uh, started off um, uh, with um, uh, exploration, but then started active mining uh, operation uh, between 2006 and 2007. So as a mine geologist, you understand um, the ore body, the characteristics and the styles, and you also further delineate the investment that the company has made in terms of the deposit to avoid the loss of the ore and dilution of it. As a short-term planning engineer, I plan the mining sequence uh, on a daily basis, weekly basis and monthly basis. I also monitor the compliance of the digging sequence against the pit design and the budget. We have a flotation uh, technology that we use to recover copper. This technology um, uses chemicals. When the ore is ground, we, are, we basically add chemicals and the copper gets attracted to these chemicals. So with the coming of this huge investment is the influx of people and so there's been pressure on social services like schools, clinics, you know, within the local area. And so using the framework of the trust, we have helped a lot in terms of expanding schools, putting up extra classrooms, one by three classrooms, as well as staff housing for teachers. And in most of the schools, there's been no science laboratories, high schools. So we put up some science laboratories in most of the major local high schools. But right there within the Manyama area, you know, there's, there's no formal high school. So we've been working with the trust and the community to upgrade one of the local schools to become a high school, which we are working with right now. Also, this is a famous Gulomajiba, which we have upgraded to a mini hospital. If you went there, you would see that we've done a lot. So a lot of infrastructure, including maternity wings, new clinics, have been done using the framework of the trust. The mine allocated as this money, and then we continue to receive it. They give sometimes four times per year. Per year. Once they give you 40 percentage, then a, a subcommittee has to say to the chieftainship to consider the project which they would build for the people. The purpose of trust fund is to approve to the area the funds that are coming from the the mines. We are very proud of what uh, the Lumana Mining Company has done and I think that we, are, we have a case to show that with proper engagement it is, it is our business to make sure that the investors plow back into the territories where they are making their money from. So thank you for, for, for the sponsorship. Uh, from Barik, they are doing a recommendable job uh, sponsoring uh, uh, this team, Lumwana. It's not easy to sponsor a, a, a football team. It's very expensive, but with Bariki, we are saying kudos to them. They are doing a recommendable job. It has been a, a, a long when a, a, a Northwestern province had a Premier League team. So Lumwana was, I think, the first team to come into the Premier League. So the Northwestern people, they were very happy to see to have a team in the Premier League.